You're watching Fox and Friends. Tens of thousands of Americans from all over the country have been issued concealed gun permits from Utah in the last year. Why? Because it's cheap and it's valid in 32 states and it's good for five years. Critics say it is dangerous. Let's debate it. Critics like Dan Weiss. He's a senior attorney for the Brady campaign to prevent gun violence. But our other guest, Eric Pratt, says it's America's right. First off, uh, Eric, is it true? This is true, correct? For, you don't have to live in Utah. You want a gun? You go apply to get one in Utah. 32 states do it. You can get one and carry it. You're okay with that? Yeah, we think this is a, a, a great deal for a couple reasons, Brian. I mean, first of all, you have to realize people have to run the gauntlet to carry a gun for protection out of state. You could have a valid Pennsylvania carry permit. Yep. It'll be recognized in some states. It won't be recognized in others, like the neighboring state of Ohio. I mean, we would be outraged if that was happening with driver's licenses. So for what Utah's doing here, for starters, it is helping to fix a fractured, antiquated system. But secondly, I would say this. The whole Utah permit situation, that is going to help save lives. The five states in our country which have the lowest crime rates are concealed carry states. And in fact, one right. of those states is New Hampshire. Very interesting story about an Army veteran named Sandy Havel, who was a, a father of four. He had a valid uh, permit from his state of New Hampshire. But as a law-abiding citizen, he realized right. that he couldn't carry his gun into Massachusetts because they don't recognize right. New Hampshire. So that's permit. one of the hurdles state he, to state. But Dan, and he, uh, was, he was, was killed in Massachusetts. He was. All right. Uh, that's a, a said end to that story. But Dan, you feel as though this is only going to make things more dangerous. We make it far too easy for dangerous people to get weapons. Uh, this law says you just have to have a, quote, general familiarity with guns, sit through a four-hour class, uh, and you've got a license to carry loaded semi-automatic weapons in public. And what has that done? And since just the beginning of last year, Utah has had to revoke or suspend over 1,000 licenses because license holders have committed crimes around the country. And these aren't just any right. crimes. These are crimes like robbery child molestation, murder, rape of a child, kidnapping. Come on, what is it going to take Eric, you're shaking for us to your get head. common sense in our gun laws? This is without a background check, right? No, no, there Just is a, a background check. They have to take a safety class. Concealed carry permit holders are the safest segment of our society. Statistically speaking, they are 12 times less likely than the average citizen to commit a crime, even seven times less likely than the police. So we should actually be encouraging more of this. I mean, even just recently, over the holiday weekend, there, there were two, at least two cases in the news, one in Memphis, Tennessee, another in Atlanta, Georgia, where concealed carry permit holders right. use their firearms either outside of the house or away from home to protect their lives from attack. Final it, thought, it final thought thousands Dan? of times a day. We need to do what states like New York and New Jersey do, give police the discretion to issue licenses, at least say that police have to see you before they give you a license to carry a loaded gun in public. We need common sense, reasonable gun laws. All right. Uh, so, uh, Dan and Eric, you don't agree, but the debate rages on. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Thank you. All right. Thanks, guys. Meanwhile, straight ahead, many of us could use a couple more hours each day. Some extra.